Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I have this article uh, ready for a few days already, and uh, <clears throat> I was uh, waiting for some more articles on the same subject, the same subject, and I tell you why. I noticed uh, for a long time already that uh, when the mass media is like receives a um, receives like an order, they start uh, you know hammering down on certain things like a, a, a current of ideas and they're going to use different examples or different situations to maintain that idea going so when you as the little fish that you are and me are watching the news this is what happens we see oh that's this is the this is the news and that's the idea and then you got another piece of news the same idea and you got another piece of news another instance another example but all of them were gonna reinforce the same idea they work with propaganda that that's the way to work with it they're gonna give you more examples with the same idea so in your mind you're gonna say oh look at that how it's a very 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 big problem here that that's how it is because if they show you only one and just go down on that name bam 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 it works for a while but they can reinforce it by using various other examples so that's why I was waiting in this case to see they were going to get on on some politicians trying to obviously destroy them, um, you know, uh, that's called um, uh, character assassination. So they uh, assassinate your character by attacking it and trying to interpret each and every uh, uh, time when you use the restroom, they're going to go and uh, or bathroom or toilet, they're going to come and... Uh, use that as an uh, example of something uh, that is not there or maybe remotely there but they will stretch it in such a way these weasels uh, uh, they will stretch it and turn it and uh, you know uh, doctor it that will make out of nothing or nothing that should have been there the main point ignoring everything else this is how it works so in this case we have politicians from uh, Austria and uh, Germany who are attacked because at one point in time they had a connection or a relationship, work relationship with Putin and they had some business relationship with certain um, businesses that nowadays are forbidden, not allowed. Um, so let's go and see here for instance, um, this first article that I found was from Associated Press and it was from May 18th. So it was yesterday, I was like, oh, let me just think about it. And this is the, and I had another one before, but I deleted that and I said, oh. and then I said, well, look, it, it's becoming a trend here. Uh, German ex-leader Schroeder loses privileges over Russia ties. So Schroeder, he was a, a former chancellor. So Gerhard Schroeder, uh, he was a, a former Germany, uh, chancellor of Germany, and he had a good, uh, relationship with Putin, like collaborating uh, relationship. And he uh, was involved in, and I think he's still involved in some businesses with some Russian companies, as probably he's involved with some other companies from other countries. But they will not mention that because that's unimportant. You know, the same thing. You go to the bathroom, they're going to say, you do this when you go over there. You do this, you do this. Without, you know, they get the little thing and that uh, they ignore the rest, they would probably, uh, you know, uh, um, destroy the argument but they don't mention that it's like you you would say okay let's say uh a president uh, uh you know um, or a, a family member of a president you know has some some or you as a politician has some hanky panky uh in, with, with a company let's say you have some shares in a company is there anything wrong with that as long as you don't provide uh proof evidence that there is a connection between these two and affects your job uh, performance you know you're influenced by that then is nothing there. It's nothing. You're free to make business. You're free to be on the board of this. Like for instance, get uh, Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney was the you know, the board uh, executive board of Halliburton, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Uh, before uh, Iraq War, wasn't he? And then Iraq War, when that occurred, who was one of the companies that won the bid to reconstruct Iraq? Halliburton. Was that a, a coincidence? I don't know, but you see, he was out. He was not a member of that board anymore. So yeah, you can make the connection, but if you don't find uh, you know, the evidence, the proof, the hard evidence, 
Well, you can assume, like here, Schroeder, yeah, he probably has some kind of connection with business connection, but he's out of the office. So what's the problem? So let's read what's going on here. So Germany's three governing parties plan to strip former Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder of his office and staff after he maintained and defended his long, long standing ties with Russia despite the war in Ukraine. And you're going to hear how he defended. You're going to hear how he defended the argument they bring. And that's the argument you see. So Schroeder's own Social Democratic Party uh, said Wednesday that lawmakers on the parliamentary, parliamentary Budget Committee had agreed to link some of the former German leaders' privileges to actual duties rather than his status as former chancellor. They plan to submit a proposal to lawmakers on Thursday. All right. So Schroders had become uh, increasingly isolated in uh, recent months due to his work for Russia state control energy companies. The 78-year-old 78 78 chairman of the supervisory board of Russian state energy company Rosneft and also has been involved with the Nord Stream and Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline projects. Okay, anything illegal here so far? Okay, did he do something illegal? Something? Mm, I don't know. And then this is another thing. He says, earlier this year, his office staff quit and Schroeder faced a fresh wave of outrage for from former political allies after the New York Times quoted him saying that the massacre of civilians in Bucha or Bucha, Bucha, and I'm quoting what they say he said, has to be investigated and close quote. But he didn't think this is what these guys add because otherwise they would put in quotations like he said it. But this is their spin here. But he didn't think the orders would have come from Russian President Vladimir Putin, who is a long time friend. So you see, already they spinned everything. If he would have said that, he would, they would have definitely put it in a, uh, in a quotation mark. Like, I don't think uh, the orders came. Or even, even if he thought they didn't. Is that a right that he has? Was that an investigation? Is there a problem that he asked for things to be investigated? That's the normal way to go. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He came after, after a fresh wave of outrage. Who are those who are outraged for someone calling for an investigation for something that occurred? You can't just point things. So those who got outraged are either children, children or teenagers or below uh, 86 IQ. Because to say that if something happened in a neighborhood, you just apprehend the person you think committed the crime and just, I don't know, uh, lynch him, let's put it this way. Is that the way it goes? No, it isn't. In a civilized society, you get the evidence, you start an investigation, you know, you present the investigation, the prosecutor's attorney's office, and go from there, right? Gonna be a court hearing, evidence provided, defense, you know, prosecution, and then the judge will determine the outcome. That's how it works in a civilized society. So why are you outra outraged? Because the guy said, yeah, it should be investigated. What's wrong with that? That's the way it should go, my man. Unbelievable. So outrage. And then long-time friend. So, okay. It was a long-time friend. I don't know if friend is, is really the term here. Acquaintance, business acquaintance. He was in business with this guy. I don't know if he, they, they use the sauna together or they use the jacuzzi together or other things. I don't know that. And we would have uh, found out already. And then the second article here is, uh, if you remember, Putin was privately invited to a wedding. A wedding uh, where, uh, um, I think it was the former um, foreign minister. I think one of her relatives or she got married. I can't remember exactly how it was. So he got invited over there and he participated, not as the president of Russia, as a personal acquaintance, friend, however you want to call it. So now they're going to do a job on this one too. So this comes from the new voice of Ukraine from today, May 18th. Former Austrian foreign ministry, Knissel, and former German chancellor, uh, Schroeder, to face sanctions pressures. So I'm talking about the, the Miss Knissel. So, uh, it says that both Schroeder and Knissel, after their political terms received, bro after their political terms received board positions in the Russian state oil company Rosneft. Okay, good business move, which may, which may so as a reward for corruption, may, may, investigate, you find it, good, punish the guys, but may, could, 
allegedly, reportedly, blah, 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 blah. This is in Wonderland, okay? This is uh, Wonderland and is uh, fairy tales. Go and find evidence, facts, reality. How about that? I got the gut feeling you're the criminal. Go to jail. Doesn't work that way here. It works in other countries 100%. And in certain kind of levels. Kindergarten, uh, first graders, second graders works that way. I think, I feel like uh, you did this. You should go. And then you got want to get the mob will get you and uh, I don't know, isolate you. Well, we don't work by those uh, rules, do we? I think that we increasingly, increasingly work by that when we want it. So, um, it says here, in addition, two, two are also known to have personal friendly, friendly relationship Why? With, this, with Putin himself, where he's supposed to punch him in the face uh, show outrage like in uh, George Orwell's uh, 1984, uh, what, five minutes of hate? They were supposed to uh, outrage when they see Putin. Is that, a, is that the way you should, and if you're friendly, what's wrong with that? Oh, he's a bad guy? Oh, because you're a good guy, right? Yeah. Are you all good? No. Is you all bad? No. So what are you talking about? Unbelievable. So Knistel even invited him, invited him, Putin, to her own wedding, that was her own, own wedding in 2018. A photo taken of the two dancing was widely publicized worldwide. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the video how he came with the helicopters, um, Putin. I saw that. He came over there, shook hands, embraced, danced for a few seconds, spoke German, and he was friendly and uh, pleasant. What was wrong with that? Oh, he's a second Hitler. He's a criminal. We should just... It's a different story. So nevertheless, where is the crime? We don't, we don't fu function like the Soviets by the guys who were in charge of Soviet Union. Let's put it this way. You know, show me the man and I find you the crime. It doesn't work that way. It should be the crime. And, and if you can, if, if you find in the process that's a crime committed by the particular individual, yes. But I'm not going to say, hey, Mike, all right, Tom, go and do a research, do a search on, on, on Mike, Tom, do a search on Mike and find whatever he did. He must have done something. Well, if you find something, that's fine, but really it doesn't work that way because we all, all did things that we probably should not have been doing at one point in our lives. We made mistakes. We ran a, a, a traffic light. We didn't stop at a stop sign. I don't know. And these are, right? You, you should be punished for that. So that's, you, you should be charged for that. You should be fined retro, retroactively or not. Yes, according to these guys. Anyway, these two guys, they go personal right now. And these are two of them. There's no evidence that they did anything wrong. Nothing. The guy was, uh, the, both of them are in business. Oh, with the wrong companies because now sometimes it's wrong. And what's wrong with Rosneft? What's wrong with it? Did it commit a crime? Yes, if it commit a crime, then get it. It didn't commit a crime. So what's wrong being associated with a foreign uh, company? If I have stocks, I own stock in, in a different company. I, can, I commit a crime. Let's say... Should that or that crime commits a crime? Should I be uh, all of a sudden associated with what they did, with the crime they committed? And Rosneft did not commit any crimes, as far as I know. Do you? Is the government the Rosneft is 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 a, is a governmental institution? Okay, it's an oil company. It's an oil. It's not a military. It's not a, a decision making company. What are you talking about? An energy company. It's so much to talk about this because it's so outrageously stupid, and not stupid, childish. Below 86 IQ, that's what it is. They got outraged because the guy said, well, we should investigate. What did you expect? What would have been the normal course? Just hang the guy? Shoot him? Uh, lynch him? What would have been the right one? Those outraged. I want to see them. And they vote. And they vote. So if they process the information and knowledge that, that way, you imagine how those people vote. Imagine. And they nullify your vote, your vote, your vote, and my vote. Those guys who got outraged because they, uh, he asked for an investigation. Oh, my God. And these are people who are walking with us, around us, in the neighborhood, in the uh, grocery store, at, at work. These people right here, they will just get you for the wrong ideas. We, we didn't learn anything. As Picasso said when he, he visited uh, no, the artist uh, Picasso, Pablo Picasso, he went in a, I uh, can't remember what, cave, and he saw the paintings, you know, the... Uh, I can repress, uh, I don't know how to call it in English, uh, cave, cave paintings. And he said, well, we didn't learn anything. 
That's what he said. The same here. We didn't learn anything. The way we are uh, 2,000 years ago as a society and people, you find them around us. Most of them are like that. Most of them. Most of them. They didn't learn anything. They're the same people who would, at the right circumstances, will put you on a stake and uh, light it and boom for the wrong ideas. Just look. Just look. Just open your eyes. And you, I think you know that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.